Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for men, it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. There are so many different directions that we can go in with these readings this morning, but I want to focus on one thing. I want to focus on covenant. And it isn't something that really is readily understood in our culture today. It is a little bit like a contract. It is a sacred agreement, but it is a bond. And to understand covenant, we have to understand that it is God who chose us. We did not choose him. God chose us. We did not choose him. And so remember that in the covenant, God never imposes himself. He only proposes. He makes an offer to us and says, I want to be for you. That's what that cross is about. This is me for you. And the Lord remembers that covenant forever. And so the scripture this morning is very clear that it is by the power of God that we attain salvation. It is by God's power. There is nothing in me, there is nothing in you that can attain the glory of heaven. I recently had a conversation with somebody who said to me, Father, I'm trying to work harder at producing good fruit in my life. And I said, you have no power to do that. You have no power to produce fruit in your life. The only thing you can do is stay attached to the vine. The branch must be attached to the vine. And if the branch remains attached to the vine, 
that the life of the vine, which flows up through the vine, flows into the branch and produces the fruit. It is the Holy Spirit that produces fruit in my life and in yours. Not you, not me. The work of salvation is absolutely and totally God's work. The work of salvation is absolutely and totally God's work. I can't earn it. I can't do anything to bring it about. The only thing that I can do is to stay attached to the vine. The problem with this rich young man this morning is that he had too many other attachments. And when Jesus said to him, in order to enter the kingdom of God, go home and sell your possessions and then come and follow me, at that, he became very sad because he couldn't let go. The beautiful part of that story is, is that we don't know how it ends. Maybe he went home and thought more about it and said, this or that. You know, I'm getting older, and the older I get, the less possessions I want. I want to travel very light. <laughs> Some of the things I thought that were important in my life when I was younger mean nothing to me today. That's the journey. That's the journey. And so as the scripture says, that we attain the goal of salvation through our faith, through our faith, by remaining attached, the branch, by remaining attached to the vine. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. And if we stay attached to the vine, then the life of the vine flows up through the vine out into the branch and produces abundant fruit.